Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter video series of videos I've been doing for a while now where I go over there to add food and drink items. I eat stuff. I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about a hopefully delicious stuff that the time I'm doing this, folks, I mean, yeah, you know, Florida's over there doing Florida stuff with Florida, man. But what about Connecticut, man? No one ever thinks about his needs. I'm just saying. Aside from Connecticut, man, Pier Can Thunderbolt poster behind me, crab your ladder off to the side, there's a bunch of Marvel figures up there. And, folks, and, I've also got some animal stuff over there, but just ignore that, that's just, it's just in the way at the moment. But, and, on top of the other and, I'm wearing a cool shirt. When I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing? Boom! We're wearing cold shirt! Not just any cold shirt, this is the Broken Human Tour from 2000 and, uh, looks like 16. Um, is that 16? No, that's, that's 19. There we go, 2019. <clears throat> Hard to read upside down. But yeah, uh, Cold is a band. They've been around since the 90s. Uh, they kind of had their heyday sort of around like the late 90s, sort of during the new metal era. Very different style of music, depending on which album you listen to. Some of their earlier stuff, a little bit heavier. They never were like a super heavy band, though, even at their heaviest. Um, but, like, a good example of that would be, like, their albums, uh, 13 Ways to Bleed on Stage and Year of the Spider. Those are probably their two heaviest albums. First album, still somewhat heavy, too. <clears throat> After that, they kind of, you know, changed a little bit and kind of dialed their style, dialed their sound down a little bit. Still really good, though, just, just very different. Um, and this was actually their first tour in, like, almost 10 years when they went over there and reunited, and, uh, I got to be there. I actually have videos of that show on this channel, just in case you're interested in my general music views and stuff, so. I like Cold a lot. And they're a band where I highly recommend to people, see them live. You will love them. If you like them, you will love them. If you're kind of so-so on them, I think at the very least you'll end up liking them. They're a phenomenal live band. But anyway, folks, what am I trying for y'all today? Ultimately, that's the crux of what I do here. Well, folks, being that I'm a 36-year-old guy wearing a cold shirt back in his animal room doing video reviews for YouTube, it's probably not that surprising to find out that at the present time, I happen to be single. Being single, that means that I have to go over there and fend for myself when it comes to food. With that being the case, I eat a lot of frozen pizzas. Now... And mind you, I do try to diversify, diversify my diet, but especially when I'm running a little bit low on funds, it's pizza. So I got to thinking, my go-to pizza when it comes to pizza, uh, for cheap pizza, is BOOM! Jack's Pizza. It's family favorite since 1916, or 1960, I apologize. Uh, that's absolute bullshit. This is no one's favorite pizza, but it costs three dollars. That's all you have to put on it, Jack. <clears throat> I got a pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni is made with pork, chicken, and beef. But the thing was, folks, I got to peruse and happened to be at Walmart, and I decided, boom, to try out a great value pizza. Thin crust pepperoni pizza, pepperoni made with pork, chicken, and beef. Both of them claim to be made with real cheese. Mm. Ha ha ha! That's the thumbnail. But yeah, so I decided to do a battle of the cheap-ass pizzas. Because why not? Ultimately, my demographic, whatever it may be, I think they could use this advice. I've also done reviews of some other pizzas. I did the Stranger Things pizzas. I also did uh, the little Yachty's pizza. Go give those a shot if you're interested. But yeah. So, we've got... Okay. Alright, so, this one right here, eh, this is the Great Value Pizza. How do I know? Well, I put it over there. But specifically, it's a little bit undercooked on the bottom. I did go over there and cook these at the same time. Thing was, my oven kind of sucked at the best of times, and then on top of that, you had two different times. The Great Value uh, was at 400 for 13 to 16 minutes. I did a little bit longer than that to kind of give it its best option or best chance. 
Jax is at uh, 425 for 11 minutes, and I actually had to do that one for a little bit longer too because of the two pizzas being at the same time. So this one right here is a great value. This one right here is a Jax, and you can see much more stable. So it was a little bit lower on the uh, on the tray. I tried to get them as close as possible, so I'm not going to hold the crust against against the uh, the great value. Couple pizza notes because. I can do that. Um, well, I already said the time and the uh, the temperature. So really, the only other pizza note that I have to mention: great value, nineteen pepperoni. Jack's only eighteen. Jack's is ripping you off. I'm just saying. I forget exactly how much they cost. I think the great value might have been a tiny bit less, but they're both about like three to three fifty dollar pizzas. But anyway, I've actually never had a great value pizza, so. I'm going to start out with Jack's. I've had a lot of Jack's pizzas over the years. Um, typically when I do Jack's, I go over there, I actually, there's a secret, okay? So write it down, drop some knowledge on you. Uh, while I'm waiting for the oven to preheat, I'll actually go over there and take some hot sauce. You need like a watery hot sauce, like a Tabasco sauce or something. Pour it directly onto the frozen pizza before you even put it into the oven. Then put it in, it cooks with the pizza. So I'm going to do Jack's, because it's Jack's. And for what it is, it tastes exactly like Jack's Pizza. Um, never had Jack's Pizza, because you're a more financially responsible adult than I am. Fair enough. Um, Jack's Pizza is fine. It is the definition of fine pizza, okay? It will get you through, like I said, it's like three bucks a pop. You don't buy Jack's because you particularly like it. You buy it because, again, maybe you don't always make the best financial decisions. And come the end of the week, it's good to go over there and have a few extra pizzas just in the freezer for when you need them. Emergency pizzas. That's what Jack's is. But that said, it's not horrible tasting or anything like that. You don't get much uh, flavor from the crust. The cheese is fine, although I've always found it to be a bit sparse in terms of its distribution. You get a lot of spots where you can see the, the tomato sauce coming through on the bottom. The pepperoni tastes fine. It's not a terrible pepperoni for what it is. It goes over there. It does the job of the pepperoni. It's not the best pepperoni you've ever had, but it's meaty. It's salty. For a Jack's Pizza, it's not a bad option because it's going to cover a lot of area. And on top of that, you know, it just, it, it does a decent job of kind of covering up the fact that it's a somewhat subpar pizza. But it does do the job. I can't complain too much. Now we're going to move on to the great value. It is a wonkier shape because Jack's Pizza, one of the advantages that it had was that because it has less, uh, less cheese coverage, it's easier to remove the pepperoni and go over there and specifically place them where you want for easy, easy cutting. The Great Value had more cheese coverage, so I couldn't really pry off the pepperoni properly. So, But both of them have five pepperoni on it. That's, that's the key thing. Let's try this. And like I said, I'm not going to hold the cross against it. So, Okay. Jack's is way better. <laughs> um, I just wanted to confirm. Because here's the thing. The, the great value... I mean, say what you will about Jack's. Like I said, you got pepperoni on it. It's going to do the pepperoni thing. The pepperoni on this... It's there, but it is not very flavorful. The, I would say probably the most prominent flavor of the uh, the Great Value Pizza is actually the cheese, which isn't a terrible thing. I mean, cheese is good, but when you buy pepperoni pizza, you want a pepperoni pizza. Yeah, it's just... 
it's vastly different in the scale of flavor that you're getting. Um, now, I'm not going to say the great value is terrible, but Jack's is already emergency pizza. Now you got great value pizza, which is even below that, at least for me personally. Um, I mean, I'll give it this. Like I said, it has better cheese coverage. If you want more, more of a cheese experience... This is the better option. Now, I'm not saying it's a great cheese experience. Like, it's not like a proper cheese pizza. It's just not. The flavor is there, but muted. I also feel like there's just less sauce. Like, really. I feel like the, I feel like Jack's just, just has more sauce. Like, it seems like they put the emphasis on the cheese with the great value. And the problem is, is that while well, cheese isn't bad and it's made with real cheese, it's also not that spectacular. So you'd want the other aspects to really stand out. And yeah, man, those pepperoni, those are weak as fuck. Like, I honestly kind of expected... Like these would be almost the exact same thing. Like, maybe Jack's, was, or maybe Great Value was just rebranded Jack's. Or vice versa. But they're not. They're vastly different. And, yeah, I mean, I, I have to give it to Jack's. Like, it's not even, it's not even close. I really did expect this to be, if nothing else, a fairly close race. Because at the end of the day, they're both budget items. They're not, you know, you're not buying Jack's or Great Value. Because they're your favorite pizza. I mean, they might be, to be fair. And if they are, good on you. I'm not hating on you or anything like that. But the thing is, is that typically speaking, you're buying these because they're cheaper pizzas. They're there to go over there and, you know, fill out a meal for you, be a lunch or a dinner, what have you. And they do that. And that's, that's why I buy them. Because, again, I'm not always the most financially responsible person in the entire world. And then on top of that, well, you know, I mean, I work six nights a week and stuff like that. It's just easy to pop in a pizza and, you know. But, yeah, man, it's it, it's not even close. Jack's is just the vastly superior, uh, you know, discount pizza. Like I said, I do think the great value costs a little bit less. But it wasn't by a great deal. Um, I mean, we're talking cents, not dollars. The great value has a disadvantage where you can only get it at Walmart since great value is Walmart brand. Um, you can get jacks at a lot of places, even gas stations, though usually it'll be an upcharge. You might pay, you know, like more like four bucks. But yeah, man, Jack's just honestly ran away with it. I mean, I gave him a little bit of shit at the beginning, but I didn't realize just how far down the uh, discount pizza ladder I was going to go with that great value. And the end of the day, it's just, it's not even close. Jack's Let's find the thing. Jax is right here. Jax is the clear winner. It just is. If you're going for some budget pizza, I mean, obviously, work within your budget, what's available to you. Um, but if you can afford it, do the Jax. If you can go up from that, I mean, you obviously have, like, Red Baron and stuff like that. You know, those get the job done, too. Um, but, yeah, man, the... Uh, in terms of being, at least as far as what I've ever seen, Great Value and Jacks are typically the bottom of the barrel. I'm sure there's probably stuff even lower. But Jacks just has to win it. They they apparently, they've been doing it since 1960. And I gotta give it to them. They managed to make a, a budget pizza that still tastes relatively good and actually has a lot of flavor compared to Great Value, which just is very meh. I mean, it's there. It'll, it'll do what you need it to do, but... It ain't going to do anything more than that. So, anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have a simple, great year today. Spectacular, sweet, monumental, rest of month, stupendous rest of your folks. You go up there and have yourselves a truly not discount pizza-tastic rest of your life. Hopefully, you're over there if you're getting pizza. Which, by the way, you know, I mean, pizza's great. But, you know, let's, let's add in some healthy options and stuff, too. Let's take care of ourselves. Not that I always do, but, you know, let's hope that you're better at that than I am. Um, but... If you are over there, you know, you're doing the, uh, 
if you're doing the pizza thing, hopefully you're going there. You, hopefully you live in a place where you got some really bomb ass pizza. I live in a place. I mean, I should I should never get frozen pizza given how like many fantastic places are. I did a review for a uh, Lou Melnati's uh, deep dish white pizza not too long ago. Watch go watch that video. But if you are, hopefully you're getting that premium pizza experience in your life. Very final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what do you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Not the easiest thing to do in the world, especially when you're living in a situation where, eh, like I said, maybe you're on a discount pizza budget. That can be stressful. It can be hard to deal with. You know, you're trying your best. You're making it week to week, month to month, doing what you have to do. But even in stressful situations, let's try to take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, and hopefully, hopefully go forward, do a little bit better the next time around, just in case. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to see this video that I have done here. And maybe you're going to go over there and hit me up in the comments section and be like, Brandon, you don't know dick about cheapo pizza there's this pizza that you can get it's only at like certain stores it's called mitch's pizza it costs 79 cents it's been 79 cents since 1960 get yourself some bitches review it against the other ones you will be appalled now i don't know why you would do that why you would go over there and send me on a quest for apparently tremendously awful pizza maybe maybe you just hate me that could be the case, which if that's the case, why are you watching my videos? But hopefully you don't hate me. I like to I like to be liked. Uh, <laughs> but hopefully you're not doing that. Maybe you're doing something else that's actually rewarding with your time. Uh, like, maybe you're going over there and just getting yourself some really nice pizza. Or hell, maybe you're even making your own pizza. Maybe you're that person, that level of talented. I believe in you. I believe in you. Anyway, folks, this is going to do it for me on this one. Bye!